One of my favorite novels by Stephen King is Salem's Lot. I loved the remote setting. I loved the character development, how King wrote that entire town. Most importantly, I loved the dread, the suspense, the fear that just keeps mounting and mounting as you make your way through the novel. A lot of readers describe Salem's Lot as a slow burn and as a result they didn't quite enjoy it as much. So if you're one of those readers that did not enjoy the pacing but you love the premise, the setting, and the character development, have I got the book for you. What up nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome back to The Nerdy Narrative and I have another book that I want to share with you all that I just finished reading. It's called The Hollows by Daniel Church. This is Daniel's debut novel that does not read like a debut at all. If you're someone who likes to match their book settings to the season of the year we're in, The Hollows is absolutely perfect for that. As you can see from the cover, it's all white because everything is snow covered. This takes place in the small village of Barsal in the Peak District. Now, I am not familiar with this area. I'm quite possibly pronouncing some of these names incorrectly and I do apologize if that's the case. But the point is, we've got a very closed off setting. When you crack the spine of this one open, we meet Barsal and its residents as they are preparing for a snowstorm, a bad snowstorm, the kind that's going to cut them off for a few days, maybe even weeks. Pretty much business as usual for these folks. It's not anything they've never experienced before and will absolutely experience again. Also something that happens every year, somebody ends up dead. A tourist that did not heed the warnings, they were out too long, they died of hypothermia, and even longtime residents make the same mistake, usually after they've had one too many drinks down at the pub, which is exactly what the police officer Ellie thinks when they discover the body of Tony Harper. Two teenagers who were also out in the snow noticed Tony's body, called it in, and because there was no obvious signs of a struggle or blood, they assumed Tony walked home drunk and consequently froze to death. Though something's not quite right about the scene and Tony's was only just the beginning. The mystery and the suspense and when I started getting an idea of what it was that was terrorizing this town, Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, the suspense was almost intolerable. It kept me up late. I didn't want to read this at night, but there I was up late turning the pages, wanting to get to the bottom of what was going on while not wanting to know because what these things, words, what they were described as, I'm like Indiana Jones. Why does it always have to be snakes? Although it's not snakes. If you know me, you probably can figure out what these things resembled and why I was terrified. In addition to that, just what the author Danny Church does with his setting, was amazing. He has me afraid of snow. I have never been more glad to live in Central Florida. I know we just had another hurricane come through. Nicole can go suck a big one, but I will take hurricane weather over snow any day right now. I'm just, mm -mm. I would not even travel. If somebody was like, oh, Leslie, we'll pay for you and Chris to go to some ski resort in Colorado. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not happening. Nope. Chris can go by himself. Another element that I loved in this story was the religious discussions and aspects. Because the town is cut off and they're being terrorized, they don't know what's behind it. It's frightening. There are those that have always been devout in their religious beliefs. They start to question where is God? Why is this happening to us? Is this the end of the world? Has the apocalypse come? And I just felt it was so human in those conditions to question their faith. It felt like a natural part of the story. And it just really leaned into the terror because if you have somebody that has been a pillar of your community that has always stood so strongly on their beliefs and all of a sudden they falter, that's going to scare the hell out of you. And I know it would me. On the other side of that coin, you have those that never believed suddenly looking for something to believe in, something to give them hope that they can survive whatever this is. And then there's the question of, okay, we're cut off by this snowstorm. Is what's happening to us happening on a global scale? And while I found what the cause of all of this was, what was terrorizing this town, absolutely horrifying and scared the bejesus out of me. There's 
another aspect that causes fear and terror of the human kind. I know it sounds like there's a lot going on and there is. All of these elements don't present at once. It's a natural progression through this tale of horror and survival. Daniel Church also wrote some really great character moments. You know, when characters just dug deep and did what they had to do for themselves, for those that they were trying to protect. And it was a wonderful book. It is available everywhere from Angry Robot Books. Friends, I'm telling you, if Salem's Lot didn't work for you because of the pacing, this is the one for you. I promise you will not be disappointed. You all will have to let me know if you pick this one up. I would love to talk about some of the aspects of the different characters, especially the times when they're questioning their faith or finding their faith. And when you discover what it is that's behind everything, I wanna know what you all think about it. So if you do pick this one up or you're interested in picking it up, be sure to drop down in the comments below and let me know so we can chat about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.